Hello and welcome to Best of Friends, the show that likes to put real friendships to the test and where they can get some fantastic treats if they don't argue about silly little things like who has the most words to say at the I beginning of the show. <laughs> My best friend because he joins in with anything and he's a really good friend to be with. I like Hunt because she's really trustworthy and we go to Cardiff City together. Lewis is my best friend because he tells funny jokes and we always play together at school. And you should my best friend because we play football together, study together and we hang out together. Callum's good to hang around with because he's really strong and he's there to defend you and he's a bit of a daredevil sometimes. Hi guys! Hi! Welcome to Best of Friends. You excited about this? Yeah! Good. Great stuff. Well, Anisha, what makes you best of friends? Well, we all make each other laugh, and if um, one of us in trouble, we're all in trouble, so we all get up to the same thing. So, Courtney, what would be the worst task that we could ask you to do? Spiders. What about spiders <laughs> in particular? I don't like their eyes or their legs. So if we asked you to hold a spider, put one on your face, <laughs> go on to crawl over you, would you do it for your friends? Yes. You would do it for your friends? Now, Cal, is there a leader in this group? It's mostly going to be Anisha because she always tells us what to do, when to do it, and all that. Now, Lewis, I hear you do an interesting dance, something called a duck dance. <laughs> do you want to show us what it's all about? <laughs> what? I think you've got your ducks and chickens mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. Now, Callum, who are the funny ones in the group? Me and Lewis, mostly. I've heard a rumour you've got a bit of a funny song as well. Yeah, me and Lewis have a funny song. Can I hear it, please? So you do a duck stroke chicken dance and then you sing like a cat. <laughs> I like it. It's wicked. So you guys think you know best of friends fairly well, right? Yeah. Well, we've changed things just a little bit to keep you on your toes. If you hear this noise... <laughs> we'll be throwing in an element of surprise that is going to test your friendship. However, some things will remain the same, and that is, in the first round, three of you will have to do a task and two of you will get to do a treat. But we don't decide that, do we? Well, we can, but it wouldn't be fair. <laughs> it is the unlucky dip. You ready to find out who's doing what? Yeah. Okay, shut your eyes then and we'll choose your sweet. <laughs> okay then, guys. You, you suck! One, two, three, stick them out. <laughs> Oh, Look at that, it's an all boy go. task. It is. We've got Callum, Callum, and Lewis. You're going to be doing the task. Anisha <laughs> and Courtney, congratulations, girls. You've got the first treat. Yay. But who is going to be going with you? It's a fix. If it's me, that's not fair. Let's find out. <laughs> Bring in the unlucky dip, please. Can I go first just to prove that there's going to be no cheating of course going you on? You can. <laughs> OK. We've got our sweets. So what do we do? You suck! I can't hang out with the boys! I can't hang out with the boys! It matches your little stripe that goes down it there. It matches their jackets as well. All right, then. First task. Are we up for this? Yeah! Do you want a circle of friendship to get us started? Yeah! Come on, then, then you get... All right, then. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight! Watch our world with the best of me! Woo! Boys, it's time for your first task, and we are here at Cardiff Arms Park. Any ideas what it could be? Cleaning up rubbish or toilets. Toilets? Mm, I don't okay. want to get my hands on a toilet. What do you think it is, Callum? Cleaning up rubbish. Cleaning up rubbish? Well, it could be. OK, well, in this envelope, I have your first task. Let's find out what it is. Mops at the ready. This is the mother of all clean-up jobs. Well guessed. 
fans at the Cardiff Stadium have left the stands in a real mess. You'll have 10 minutes to clear up an entire section. If it's not squeaky clean, you will fail. How's your clean up ability? Rubbish. Rubbish, yay! There's a gag for you. Funky. 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 Well, I tell you what, with that attitude, I think we should crack on with it. Let's go this way. So then, Anisha, Courtney, you girls have lucked out. You've got the first tree. Are you excited? Yeah. Let's find out what we're doing. Harry! There he is with the envelope. Here we go. Treat one. Treaters, prepare to open your mind to science. You're off to explore the wonders of a science museum. How does that sound? Cool. You excited? Yeah. yeah. Let's go then. This is the section you have to clean. And as you can see, the fans had a bit of a party here last night. You've only got 10 minutes to do this, and this is the person who's going to be judging. It's Andrew, Hello. our cleaning supervisor. Hi, Andrew. Hello. You have got buckets of soapy water, you've got sponges, there's a mop, and there's also bin bags. Good luck to you boys, and please take your position. <laughs> Callum and Lewis will do the best in the class because um, they're one of the smartest in our group. Ready, steady, go. Come on, Red! Come on, Red! Come on! No! What are you doing? You're pushing me in the side. Your ten minutes starts now. Put them in the bin bag. When I first saw the task, I was quite scared that we wouldn't pass because it looked quite difficult. I thought Cal was the best because he was the fastest and he gave, gave us loads of tips. Once they're full, let them go. You're not going to have enough steam. Oh, okay. Come on, keep pumping, keep pumping. I don't feel gu guilty that we're having fun because the boys think they're better than girls. Well, this treat really has been music to our ears. Hit it, girls! We carried on getting as hard as we could until the end of the ten minutes. No time for it now. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Boys, put just down. Your time is up. Please come over here. Let's see how you've done. OK, well, I think you've done a cracker job, but it's not up to me. It's up to this guy, Andrew. Well, considering the uh, mess it was earlier mm -hmm. and the time they've had, I'd say they've passed. Yes! Congratulations, boys. Thank you so much, Andrew. OK, boys, let's get out of here. Let's leave Andrew to um, mop up the rest of the water. See you later. <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome back. Hi. So, Anisha, you went on the first treat. Yeah. What did you get up to? We went to Technic Quest. And we played on the, the ball with the air uh -huh. coming out of, and we played with the human piano. Courtney, what was your favourite bit? The water area. Why was it your favourite bit? Because we got really, really wet. <laughs> well, splashing you look quite dry each other. Now. Just doing splash, splash. Because we <laughs> went to the dryers and dried off. So, Cal, what did you get up to on your task? Well, we went to the Cardiff Arms Stadium. Cardiff Arms Park. Yeah, it. <laughs> we went to Cardiff Arms Park, and we had to wash down all the foams on the seats. And the manager was there to see if we did a good job or a not good job. OK, how did you find that one, Lewis? Well, it was OK, but it was messy and wet. So do you want to find out how they got on? Yeah. Right then, boys, did you pass or did you fail? Pass! So that does mean at second round, only two of you need to do the task. So if you can volunteer, if you like to, you two girls might want to, having done yeah, a treat yeah. already. Or you can use the unlucky dip if you think that's the fairest way to select two of you to go on and do this next task. But guys, it really is up to you. So we're going to leave you for a few moments and we want you to have a bit of a chat about it, OK? Right then. 
to make it easier, I'm just going to volunteer. Yeah, sure. Volunteer. Yeah. Sure. Let's do it so you like it. So you like it. Because it's just yeah. fly on you. If you, if you have to go into another task, if you do the unlucky dip, you never know what's going to happen. It might, it might happen that one of you two boys does it, and then when you two do it, we decided that I should do it. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah, that was quick. Anisha, I saw you doing a lot of the talk and there, being the leader of the group and all. So what have you decided to do? Me and Courtney have volunteered to do the task. <gasps> Why on earth would you do that? Because so it's sly on them if they, if they don't do the treat. Perfect then. You three will do a treat. You two will do a task. Want to go on task or treat? I don't know. Let's find out. It's the unlucky dip. We've got our sweet. What should we do? You, you sir. Thank you. So I'm sticking with the girls, you're going to stay with the boys. I'm staying with the it's boys. A fix. It's a fix. Let's have a second circle of friendship. Let's go. Two, Two four, six, six eight. eight. Watch out, we're all the best of it. Woo! So you girls have already enjoyed a treat this morning. It's now time to get down to the nitty gritty. You've got a task. Do you want to find out what it is? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Task two is called dessert run. The key to making a good dessert is mixing the ingredients really well which is why you'll be on mini hoppers with your dessert ingredients strapped to your heads. You'll have one minute 45 seconds to bounce down the course whilst retaining enough ingredients to exceed the pass mark on our mixing bowl. So that's your task. Are you up for the challenge? Yep. You up for getting a little bit messy? Yeah. You do that for your friends? Yeah. Come on then. OK, boys, let's go. Time for our treat. Seat belts on, please. OK, boys, you all got your seatbelts on, ready to go? Yeah. For your second treat, set those pins and get ready to strike. You are going 10 pin bowling. Yay! Here we go! Now, girls, as you may have noticed, we've got some ingredients in your helmets there for our lovely, tasty Best of Friends dessert, and it's going to be your task to safely manoeuvre them through our Best of Friends course. Now, we've got some cones laid out. We want you to weave your way in and out of those. When you get to the end of the course, you can sprint back in a straight line, and then you have to empty that ingredients into this bowl here. Now, the goal is to try and break that red line. If you do that successfully, then you'll pass the task. However, if you don't reach the red line, then you'll fail. You're going to have a minute and 45 seconds to complete the task. Who wants to start us off? Courtney. OK, Courtney, are you ready to go? Yeah. You're balanced safely there on your little hopper? Yeah. OK, then your minute and 45 seconds starts now. OK, take your time. I can help you get it all straight and sorted. There you go, I'll do that for you. OK, try and keep your head as straight as you can. Plenty of time on the clock. Go really low, like you know out low. The best thing about the shoot was where we had to where I could hang around with the boys and we didn't have to worry about doing a task. It was a bit hard going on the hoppers because there was always the risk of the jelly going everywhere in your helmet. So you have to be look forward and you have to be really, 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 really careful. Perfect, that's all your contents there. Good stuff. High fives and then we're off for the next person. Nisha, you're up. Good luck. <laughs> Absolutely flying. Watch the customer. The most difficult part of the task was when you had to get on the hopper and bounce around the coat, but the rest of it was easy. OK, sprint back. Don't worry about that. Here you go, into the bowl. Into the bowl. Tip it all. Oh, you missed the bowl! You missed the bowl! Take your time, take your time. Take your time. Get that last little bit in. Get in there. Get that out there. OK. All right, that's that. Stop the clock. I think the strongest girl to do the task is Anisha, because she's bossy and good decision-maker. that out you'll agree that that has made it safely up to the line and there's a little bit left over as well to enjoy to celebrate girls you passed the task congratulations well done <laughs> let's celebrate let's eat some cake let's go crazy you want some 
I've got some. Celebrate. Have some. It's lovely. It's lovely. Go on, some. I can't believe this. This is a dream come true. We're in Millennium Stadium, and I'm about to score a goal in that goal right there. Amazing. You're so excited. I, I can't believe it. Do you want to get in goal? Make it a bit more realistic. No, no, no. You know what? I don't want to get in your way. I, really? I think you should go for this. Okay. Make it happen, Abs. Focus, dream come true. Abs steps up. No pressure. Dying seconds of the game. Must oh, score. Oh, he does. They win the match. Yeah. Um, just, just one little thing. Yeah. Millennium Stadium. That's next door. This is Cardiff Arms Park where they play rugby. So, um, nice try. Nice try. It's a rugby stadium. <laughs> nice try. I get it. So you've been hogging these boys all to yourself. What are they like as a team? They're absolutely brilliant. They tried so hard on the first task. They so deserved the second treat, and they really enjoyed it. Well, I've been fairly impressed with the girls as well on their second task. And we're in a bit of a dilemma now because they've all done a task and mm -hmm. they've all done a treat. So yeah. who's going to volunteer or be selected to do what in the final round? I don't know. Maybe there's a surprise twist? Maybe. Should we go and find out? Yeah, let's see. Howdy, guys. Hello. Nice to see you back for day two of Best of Friends. Now, you got up to a second task and treat yesterday. We'll start with the treaters. What did you get up to, Lewis? Well, we went bowling and we had a bowling alley to ourselves and we were messing around and stuff. I bet you were. And how did you get on, Cal? Basically, I won. That's the main, that's the most important thing. Did you, did you collectively enjoy the treat? Yeah. OK, but you enjoyed it the most because you won. Now, we had an absolutely brilliant time. It was a lot of fun. But, of course, you two, you volunteered for a task. Courtney, what did you have to do? We um, had um, a bouncy hopper mm -hmm. and we had a bowl stuck to our head on the helmet and we had to bounce through an assault course and run down the um, side after we finished and tip a load of jelly and all that into a bowl to get it past the line. So, did you pass or did you fail, Courtney? We passed. Yes. Now, you've passed two tasks in a row. That means only one of you has to go on and do the final task. One of you can volunteer or one of you can get selected by using the unlucky dip. But as you know, on Best of Friends, the hardest round means we're going to give you the chance of all five of you pitching in together and doing the final task as one whole team. <laughs> Guys, that sound means there is a surprise twist now on Best of Friends. We did tell <laughs> you this could happen, so let's find out what it is. Best of Friends, in a moment you will be passed an envelope. This envelope contains five pieces of paper, only one of which has the word leader on it. The person who gets this piece of paper will become leader and must choose who does the final task. OK, you understand what that means? So we'll start with the ladies first, Anisha. There you go. Oh. It's not going to be you. Just hold it up nice just and tall for up. us. There you go. OK. Courtney, you're not the leader. Lewis, which bit of paper are you going for? OK, Lewis, it's not, not the be leader. Oh! oh. <laughs> So, Callum, it looks like you. Let's just prove that. Yeah, Callum. Now, Cal, it is down to you. You are the leader of this group. Final task. You can either pick one person, the unlucky dip, or all five you can pitch in together. The choice is yours, mate. I'd do the unlucky dip. The unlucky dip? That's what the leader wants. OK, bring it on. Who's it going to be unlucky for, though? Five sweets in here. Only one blue sweet. Whoever gets the blue sweet will be going off to do the final task by themselves. You ready to do this? Yeah. Shut your eyes. Close your eyes, please. And we'll pick your Hands sweets. Out. OK, Anisha. You've got your sweets for the last time. You, you suck. suck! Guys, let's see those tongues. Would you believe it? It's the leader himself. Cal, you're going to be off to do that final task all by yourself, I'm afraid. One of us will be going with yeah. you and hopefully you'll be joining the others on the treat. Congratulations, guys. So, who's going with you? <laughs> well, I don't know why you're so excited. Let's bring in the unlucky dip. All right, that's the first sweet I touch. I've got it. I'm not cheating. Oh, yeah. I just thought I'd mix it up a bit, you know. All right, we've got our sweets. What do we do? You suck! One, two, three. 
They're laughing. It must be you. They're laughing. Stick that out. Now go cross-eyed, and you'll see that's a blue tongue. <laughs> OK, Callum. Final task, me and you together. Let's do this. Hopefully we'll join the others on a treat. Right, then, before we send Cal and Riley off on that final touch, we have one last circle of friendship. Yeah! Come on, then, man. Yeah! Two, four, six, eight! Watch out, we're well for the best of mates! Woo! OK, Cal, it's time for you to do the final task. How are you feeling? Nervous. Nervous? Well, I won't prolong this any longer. Let's find out what you'll be doing. The others have already gone off on the treat and hopefully you'll be joining them very soon. Good luck. Get ready for a potty task. After watching a demonstration from our expert, we'll test your pottery skills. Using the potter's wheel, you'll have five minutes to make a pot at least three inches high and up to our potter pull standards. Fail to impress and you'll fail. Have you ever made a pot before? No? OK, well, I've got to tell you, it's pretty tough. I've tried once before and I was miserable at it. So I'm going to wish you the best of luck and let's go meet Paul. OK, for your final treat, strap in and put on your helmets. You're going in Zapcat speedboats to feel the true meaning of speed. Zapcats can literally jump over waves. Hold on tight, you'll barely touch the water. How does that sound? Yeah. <laughs> pretty extreme, eh? OK, then, Cal, this is the kind of standard we're looking for today. Take a look. This is a pot, and this is about the right height as well. You can see it's about three inches high. This is Paul. Paul, Cal, Cal, Paul. Right. Paul is our expert, and he's going to be giving you a demonstration. So please listen carefully, because I really want you to pass this. Paul, it's over to you. OK. So we've got to get it to stick on the wheel first before we start moulding it. OK? So we want it nice and flat on the bottom, and then I'm going to use a little bit of water on the wheel like that. Uh, put a score on like that. OK? Nice cross. And we're going to slap it on like this. Right, so we need a bit of water first, and this bit's to help it to stick on the wheel. So we need to press down at the bottom of it like that. Next bit is to make the hole in the middle. A bit of water. There we go. Can you see that? So there's a bit of clay left in the bottom there. So if I use my hands and cup it together, I can get it to stay in a little bit. It away. So, Cal, you've had your demonstration. What are your thoughts now on this task? It's going to be difficult, but I think I can do it. OK, well, let's hope you can. Now, Paul, before you start, do you have any final tips for him? Yeah, I think I've got three things to say. Um, one is that when you're squeezing the, the clay to get it into a nice round shape, just make sure that your elbows are against the side of the basin here. Just lock them right on there, and that'll make sure it doesn't wobble too much. Uh, then if it's getting a bit sticky on your fingers, just remember to use a bit of the water there to make it slip again. And then the last thing is when you're squeezing the pot up, it's getting a bit thinner, you need to make sure you're gentle with it, OK? Yeah. Otherwise it's going to go all a bit wobbly. Now, Paul, one final thing. We're giving Cal five minutes of this task. Is this achievable? Definitely. All right then, Cal. Your time starts... now. When the clay cap collapses, it made me panic a little bit. Yep. You're going to get a, a thumb in there to make a hole. Where's your elbow, Cal? It doesn't work. It. <laughs> OK, you've got a hole in, so you could perhaps start squeezing it out now with your fingers. It's better to have some pot than no pot, so I would recommend... Yeah, I think you need to be cutting it off now, so we need to stop the wheel. It's got to stop the wheel. Oi! <laughs> Well, 
and you tried, and Paul was trying to give you loads of tips there, but it's not up to me. That's five minutes, Paul. Please. Well, I thought you were going to do it there for a minute, Cal, but unfortunately this time it's not tall enough, it's not quite up to standard, so I'm afraid it's a fail. Hey, Cal, mm. you know what that means? We're not going to be joining the others, so uh, let's go and give them a call. Come on up. Two seconds, two seconds. Phone's going, phone goes. Um, yeah, it's Ronnie. Hi, Ronnie. How you doing? Yeah, I'm OK. Are you OK? Yeah, what's the plan? Um, Callum, do you want me to tell him? Um, Callum has failed the final task. We won't be joining you guys on the final quiz. All right, I'll let them know. Now, unfortunately, I've got some bad news. Cal has failed the final task. You know what that means? He's not allowed to join us on this final tree. I'm really sorry about that. OK, well, are you guys still up for having some fun? Yeah! All right, let's go. I was quite gutted that Callum couldn't join us on the final task because I really thought he would have enjoyed it. so fast. I feel really disappointed that Cam didn't get to come on our tree, but also, I think he would have been happy for us because we had a lot of fun. I think our friendship has got stronger because we all had to work together in order to complete all the tasks. Since being on Best of Friends, I've discovered that if you work well as a team, you'll get along much better. The best thing about Best of Friends was the tasks because I really like a challenge. Over the last couple of days, I think Cal has worked the hardest because he's done the first task and the third task, and he's tried them really, really hard. It's been fun hanging out with my friends. We've done tasks, we've done treats, and I think our friendship is even better. Unfortunately, today, Cal found out exactly how unlucky the unlucky dip can be. Make sure you join us next time when we'll be putting more friendships to the test. See ya! Woo! Oh.